Imagine watching an episode of High Events on High TV just by scanning your mobile phone over a simple image and in split seconds getting your desired result. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of High Events here on High TV. My name is Kevin, and today we are taking a closer look, a glimpse into the future. Get away with uh, virtual reality in with augmented reality. That's what we're here to find out more about and how... AR might just shape the future of our country. Are you interested in finding out more? I know I am. So let's go inside and let's see what, uh, what SLAR has put in store for us. I warmly welcome all of you to this event, the launch of Augmented Reality App, and also known as Sri Lankan Augmented Reality. This, the very innovation, what we're trying to unveil right now it's gonna save print media yours and mine the beloved advertising partner who had helped us to nurture our brand take our ideas to communities to give that the next breed to a quantum leap of advertising revolution i'm going to quickly do a demonstration you you have this brochure already and just simply download the slar app uh, when you get a second uh, but you should be able to see what I'm seeing uh, when I start doing the uh, When you open the app, all you have to do is uh, scan any of these images. Now, sorry about the sound again because uh, the sound doesn't come from that. But you can actually now deliver video and 3D straight from your print um, and it, you can link it up with uh, call to actions um, link your print marketing with digital your digital strategy basically from your simple business card to your company profile to your product portfolio for anything and everything this can be used right. so that is the magic about SLAR we're asking the question today, is augmented reality the way forward? Well, I've got Mr. Jagat Jayasekar here, who is the solutions architect, who will put all of this together for you and help you uh, uh, make it a business model, so to speak. How are you doing today? I'm fine, you know, thank you. All right, so talk to us a little bit about your role uh, behind this and uh, where it goes uh, in terms of marketers and things like that in the, in the way forward. Yeah, uh, one uh, big problem in technology is uh, the application, because uh, a lot of people have a tool, but they don't know how to apply it. So uh, this augmented reality software that we have developed is a, is a platform where the marketers can use as a tool. So then, uh, for example, if they are promoting a product, maybe a, a food item, and they want to give much more interactive content to the consumer, then they can use this technology. So the technology is only a tool. Uh, the marketers can have their own ideas, uh, new innovations, and this tool can be applied to communicate that to the customer because customer engagement is today is the most important because everyone wants to have engagement and feel it. So this technology will bridge that requirement. And where do you come in in that in terms of bridging uh, that uh, you know bridging between the uh, customer and the marketer, for example? Now, for example, uh, customer can come up with a problem, and my uh, role is to map that problem and find a solution through the technology. So I am the, the bridge between the technology and the marketer's problem. standing right next to the co-founder and director of Unified here, who bought their technology here now to Sri Lanka, Mr. Kaushal Gunaratna. How are you doing today? Very good, thank you. Very exciting. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell. Uh, tell me about uh, the process, how it's been bringing that over to here uh, with SLAR and uh, how that process has been and how you think it's going to turn out. Um, we launched our platform about a year ago and uh, SLAR is actually one of the very first companies that jumped on the system they they basically loved the technology they understood very easily what you know the, these are technology that they need in sri lanka so i think um, 
especially this year we see a massive change in the actual AR industry. Marketers are already asking for this, so what our technology does is it makes it really accessible for all the brands without having to pay hundreds of thousands to build apps and you know uh, distribute. What's the technological aspect behind that? How does, uh, how does one integrate themselves uh, in getting accustomed to this technology? How, do, how does one go about doing that? So augmented reality itself has been there for years. So what we have done is we sort of reverse engineered it. We built a platform, a SaaS platform, that anyone can log in, upload their content, and create an AR campaign within under 60 seconds. So there's no um, app development cost. There's no um, you know, looking for uh, developers. There's no maintenance, ongoing maintenance. We look after all that. It's pretty much exactly like an email marketing system. You just uh, it's built for marketers, so you don't need uh, coding experience. You jump in, log in, create an account, and uh, upload your content, and you know, within seconds, you can yeah, create your campaigns. I think you just answered my next question. Augmented reality, definitely the way future, even here in Sri Lanka, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, yeah. I mean, um, we are based in Brisbane. We see a massive change over there, and we just started uh, a similar partnership with a company in Singapore. Uh, printers are loving it because uh, this immediately gives paper that interactive, uh, uh, trackable content. So, you know, you can basically distribute 1,000 brochures and you can pinpoint where those brochures went and what's the uh, return on investment. Standing next to Imesha right now, who is head of corporate communications for SLAR, and having uh, conducted everything here, we had to grab a hold of her to get a word from her as well. Hi, how are you doing today? Hi, um, I'm good, and we are just about to get the networking session, so yeah. Right. Well, you know, we talked, we heard, and we talked about, of course, uh, AR. Uh, people are moving on from VR to AR. Is that the trend you're seeing, or how, do, how does that uh, how does that change come about here in Sri Lanka? Yeah, definitely. Uh, well, if you go through Google, you pick a research and see how VR and AR are basically uh, uh, growing over the last few years. And if you see the data in 2019, AR is actually surpassing VR. So if I say the difference between these two. Well, VR is basically you wear the goggles that you see, uh, you know, you've maybe seen it in movies and uh, in different uh, um, programs. So you basically wear that and then you, you are there. So you have to wear that goggles for that. Yeah. But in AR, you don't specifically have to wear anything. So it's, it's augmented reality. We are augmenting the virtual reality and the and the, uh, what do you call that, uh, the real atmosphere. So even in, when you're in a real atmosphere, you feel that it's there. So I would say this is like the next generation media, next generation, uh, uh, the, the magical word could be augmented reality. So it's better if you can step into it sooner and take the first more advantage, so then you win. I'm standing next to Diane here, who's the head of marketing for SLAR. How are you doing today? All good, all good. So fascinated. All right. Well, so are we, actually, after seeing everything that's on display today. Uh, tell me, what do you do, what do you drive behind this uh, venture of bringing AR into Sri Lanka? Yes, AR had been there for a big time, but uh, we were unable to come up with a solution, a platform, what can help our clients and uh, the companies to build their brand with a, with a full-fledged service in terms of AR. That is the key reason for our existence today and that is the key reason uh, why we have launched SLAR with all, all this glamour. And so uh, bringing it to Sri Lanka, I'm sure it proves a challenge and, uh, you know, you have to introduce it to people, you know, people who are probably not aware of the benefits of, that you can reap through AR. Uh, how are you going to, how, how, are you, how do you plan on tackling those challenges, for example? Uh, not really. Uh, we have been here and uh, especially the mother company behind this, uh, Paragon Holdings. Uh, we have been a part of introducing the first electric car to this country. So likewise, that the, the dealing with innovation and creating trends, it's had, it's had, it's had, it's had been a very, in, in, in very genetic course in this company for quite a long time. So we had not taken it as a very serious challenge because it's a very user-friendly application and a very trendy thing. 
and with all the reach and influences what we could create in this country, we thought we are pretty much on the track. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you know, we heard the term layman earlier now. For someone who has never heard of this or never experienced AR, can you give us a little demonstration? I'm going to ask you uh, to get closer here so everybody can take a closer look at this. Can you give us a little demonstration as to, uh, well, the benefits really of how this will make everything easier? Right. So it's, it's so simple. Uh, we all have come across in our life uh, lives how uh, how less dynamic print media can be and how uninteractive it could be. So this would be the perfect solution where you can make your print media advertising campaign to the next level. I'll do a very 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 simple uh, demonstration in this. We are having a, a marker which we can use in more or less for construction and architect uh, architecture industries. Yes. As I scan on it, you just see the 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 3D uh, formation of it, right? This can be a simple video, it can be a 3D formation, it can be a hologram, anything what you want to be played on a print media material, you can AR it. And just in split seconds, split seconds, you could get that the visuals pops up. In a world where the term digital revolution gets thrown around a lot, we truly were introduced to something that I'm sure will revolutionize our country and the way it's going to be moving forward. Like I said at the very beginning, out with virtual reality, in with augmented reality. And I think after everything that you've seen today, you know the country is in good hands and capable hands of making everything work swifter and faster. Thank you very much for watching yet another episode of High Events. I've been your host, Kevin DeMille. I can't wait to do this one more time, but until then, you take care.